Hi, I'm Elena Isaac, and I'm outside the hub for Performa, the performance art biennial. Tens of thousands of people are flocking to spaces all over Manhattan and Brooklyn to see something that's not quite theater, not quite installation art, not quite multimedia, but all the above. Everybody is getting the chance to interact with this art and with the city in a new way, and we're going to go join in. It's called Lost Astronaut, and it's by Alicia Framus. She's a lost astronaut in New York City. She's out doing research because she wants to create architecture for the moon. She wants to bring democracy to the moon and bring women to the moon. Right now I'm, I'm writing down some of the instructions that the, the public that's been in here has given the astronaut. Can you read some of them? Wake up 9 a.m., go out in the street and sit in a trash can for an hour. <laughs> Find the biggest carousel in the park, baptize it. <laughs> it really breaks down the whole traditional stage audience structure because the whole city becomes a stage. You know, art should be out amongst the people, it should be on the streets, we should confront people. We have over 180 artists this year, I think we counted 130 events. We have everything from architecture to dance to film, food, fashion, graphic design. Can anything be performance art? No, absolutely not, <laughs> categorically no. The amount of people who call me and say, oh we just heard about someone who bit off a chicken's head, no, it's not performance art. Space, well, it's obvious. Start from the beginning again. Relearn. Here are the limits of my universe. We're going to go on a siren walk. A bit like a bird walk, but we're going to be looking for exotic urban sirens. Daisy has developed a range of non-verbal vocal exercises based on the siren repertoire. Well, the one, the one that's really tricky is the fast one. The phaser, the phaser. I can, let's see if I can do it. Yeah? Is that kind of like it? <laughs> the siren is very much uh, a kind of um, ambiguous sign because it's because it's registering safety and danger at the same time. It's saying two contradictory things. Everything means something else, and I was interested in people coming in to talk about the sirens from other perspectives. What are you guys going to do when you hear a siren? I'm going to listen. <laughs> are you going to listen with new ears? The ones I've always had. <laughs> it may look like I'm just walking right now, but I'm actually performing. I'm part of this piece and we're going to keep on walking until we hear a siren. It's taking longer than you might expect, but in the meantime, it's a pretty nice way to see the city. And then it doesn't come, it never